It is okay if you're trash at it. It is not okay to stay trash at it. Cluthi. I have been aim training for about two years now after finding inspiration in some of the best aimers around the world. All five, all five. Cage trigger. Popping off. Cage trigger. Oh, nice. One enemy I Spike down B. I feel. And just wanting to have the best aim in the lobby when it comes to FPS shooters. I first acquired Kovacs around 2020 to 2021 and have accumulated over 180 plus hours. However, I'm not going to lie, as a beginner back then, I was just clicking and heavily missing heads and bots without proper technique, believing that would improve my aim. This was definitely a horrible approach to aim training at the time, but over time, I learned and consumed content, information, tips, tricks, and guides on proper aim training technique and learning the importance of different scenarios and how they translate to different games and in-game. I first wanted to use aim training to improve my aim in Fortnite, but even though I still love the game, I felt a passion for competitive, especially since my PC could barely handle frames consistent enough for consistent aim. And there's just a lot of cheaters now. I was also inconsistent in aim training, which did not help. Fast forwarding to 2024, I graduated high school and still have a PC not able to quite achieve consistent performance, but I collected a new drive to become disciplined and consistent in aim training and I used that as a hobby when I had nothing to do. During this time, I had been playing Valorant since 2020 to 2021 after the beta and wanted to improve my aim to dominate lobbies. I've peaked Diamond in Episode 6 yeah, Act 3 boy. with a peak high sh headshot percentage of 30.5, which drastically dropped to me not touching the game in order to focus in school. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I have now po picked up Valorant again alongside my buddy Grails. Can someone peek, 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 peek? Lamps, lamps. Nice. Oh, you're better. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Don't sight, don't sight. You heard them, you heard them. You heard them. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! And now I have a goal to acquire pristine A. How am I going to do that, you say? Well, I discovered a new aim trainer called Oblivity, and after trying it out once, I liked it a lot. So with that, I decided to be consistent within their sense, finder, feature, and reap the results of consistent training and possibly a new aimbot Valorant sensitivity. Here is how it went. I'm going to see now. Right, close, right, close, right. One enemy remains. Someone stick, 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 stick. I'm crazy! <laughs> Why didn't no one stick? Whoa! Oh. 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 Face street. I wasn't even. Perms Perms on seven. No. Let's go, baby. No, no, no. Where are we going? Dude, I wasn't even. Both, both, both one. Chill, chill. You got it. You got it. Just calm down. No one's on. No one's on. Ping, 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 ping. Nice. You're better. You're better. You're better. Jump, jump, jump. Gekka peak tree. Enemy 
Nice! Like in the round started, they swing and I don't know. I'm not with you, son. To go to the you didn't know they were gonna push, bro. At first, I didn't know this could be a video, so I do not have clips from all 18 days, but I did my best. Here's day three. On this day, I started on an improper sense fighter that was not accurate to my playstyle and played the wrong scenarios that were not equivalent to Valorant, which was a waste of time on that part, but I got to learn a lot about Blivity during this time. One of the scenarios also was like glitched or something, and I acquired a new high score because of it. Wait, I found the glitch. I found the glitch. With a fresh mind on how Oblivity exactly works, I started a new advanced sense finder profile that was effective for Valorant for 7 straight days, which was 600 and plus runs on the same recommended scenarios by Oblivity. After each session, I did a deathmatch just because why not, and I did them close to bed just because research states that when that we learn things better than when we were sleeping after any text. I don't know, something related to like neuroplasticity. At this time, I somehow hit plat 1 again. Here are some clips. Okay, I was gonna ult. I'm, uh, I'm ulting him to my screen. Pick. Yo, Sam! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's a good wall, that's a good wall. So res me, res me, res me. Nice, nice. The brick wall, brick wall. One thing. Flash. Sam, just play offside, play offside, yeah. Nice! Nice! nice. More elbow. Back some crate. Good kill. Where's bomb? Where's bomb? Kill. Hey, shoot, shoot the okay. It's on crate, on crate. Nice. nice. Sorry, I lied. Besides that, I'm just going to let the video roll and timestamp the clips to the order of days in progress. I'll be back, don't worry. They should have a button to just redo a smoke. Where? I want to get it. You gotta change the crosshair. They were both flats, but they were the same, not flash. They hit him in a leg. The gun just doesn't want to shoot straight, like I'm shooting at the- Nice! Everyone's inside. Seconds left. Nice. Just saying. Just saying. Nice. nice. Ace.
around day 14, I realized I could turn this whole journey of progress into a video, so I started recording my ability sessions and runs. Let's just say I was racking up high scores. After 18 straight days of a consistent advanced Valorant aim routine using Ability Sensitivity Finder, I acquired a sensitivity of 0.210 and it honestly feels nice. I also just feel snappier and smoother with my aim compared to 18 days ago. I just have to keep being consistent and I'm sure to become an insane aimer. Here are clips after this 18 day Oblivity journey and let me know what you guys think in the comments below.